You can't leave home, well, your home country, without it. But how much do we really notice our passports? It's quite it's a bit the boring, nas- isn't the it? The national flower, which is the protea. So what, what do you think that passport says about South Africa as a country? Very little. Where are you from? I'm from Belgium. Yeah. And what does a Belgian passport have on the inside sort of as design features? What, what's that? that? Oh, that's in the, Brussels, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. These are all Belgian monuments. Well, my passport was issued in 2009, when, as you can see, they were going through a sort of bird phase. Now new passports uh, are filled with British landmarks instead. What does a Libyan passport look like? Passport is the green, the this is a green one. Yeah. It, is, uh, it is from the uh, Gaddafi regime. Right. And uh, all the Libyan uh, waiting to change this uh, passport. Few people care about their passports as much as immigration official turned author Martin Lloyd, who has a collection of 400 of them. This is a French passport issued in 1820 to Parlois under the authority of the king, that would have been King Charles X. It was issued to a Spanish refugee who was applying for asylum in France. And that is a description of the man right down to the colour of his eyebrows, the shape of his chin, the shape of his nose, right down to everything there. This is a British passport, 1846, mid-19th century, a single sheet of paper bound into the leather covers by the passport agent whom you paid to go and queue up for you. Passport number 13, and it's signed in hand by the British Foreign Secretary, Lord Palmerston at the bottom there. This is a Cypriot passport. Well, once the Turks had invaded and got down halfway down the island, the people living in the north of the island could only get a Turkish passport. But they were Cypriot. They wanted to go back to England with Cypriot passports. And they were issued with this, Turkish Federated State of Cyprus. It says travel document. It's not actually a passport. Well, we wouldn't recognise that. So that's a very political passport. A very political passport, yes. British passports got political in the mid-1980s, when the so-called Old Blue gave way to EU Burgundy. According to our former man in Brussels, it caused consternation at the highest levels. Both Mrs Thatcher and Lord Carrington were a bit doubtful about it and were very, very conscious of the sensitivities and misunderstandings that might make people think that Britain had lost its right to control who got its passport. Anyway, they went ahead with the decision. And I do remember that when the passports were eventually issued, Geoffrey Howe, who was then uh, Foreign Secretary, Uh, It insisted on having the first one so that he got 001. When you think about it, there really are a lot of passports floating around the world. There are 47 million UK ones, 38 million Chinese passports and 113 million belonging to US citizens. And you thought the most interesting thing about your passport was the photo.